It's been around three months since my thesis. My last work for university is done. And I don't remember anything about it. Like, I don't. <laughs> what did I do in my university? I, because I don't remember much, I'm trying to recall everything. So here we go. <laughs> Out of all the university choices, I decided to pick the international one. My elementary to high school was international. Which means, although I'm Thai, I'm actually better at English. And I've struggled writing my own native language. <laughs> well, even though the university is kind of far from my house, it's like one hour away. Which is why I had to stay in a dormitory alone. I didn't have a roommate. If I had a roommate, <laughs> I think I would bother them a lot. Like, like they would be like, Ban, why don't you brush your hair? Why don't you take showers? <laughs> but can you help clean up sometimes? <laughs> and I'll be like, oh no, I forgot. I'm sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll take a shower. <laughs> so yeah, because I'm alone. I, I learned to be more independent, okay? I clean my own place, I wash my own clothes, no mom to help me out And there was a lot of food I ate from the convenience store My friend said that it's bad for my health, but you know Can't resist that food, it's too convenient My dormitory life, nothing interesting really happened I did get a noise complaint once before because my alarm clock was too loud Sorry about that <laughs> Also, even though I washed the clothes myself in the first three years, the last years I, I kind of just gave up because the bird kept crapping on my balcony. So I just asked the laundry service. Before the university began, we had to take an intensive course. The intensive course was a bunch of drawing practices. We have to draw the object in front of us, like circles, triangles, squares. <laughs> and then we have to draw it within like, or I think it was like three hours or so. And Three hours shorter than you think. Um, a lot of time I draw and I just ran out of time. After we finished drawing, the professor decided to compare our drawing and rank it. Now, I don't know if other university does it. I, I can see this is just something my professor did because he thinks it's fun. So many people is good at drawing and I was quite mid. Here I thought I was like, oh my god, when I get to university, I'm gonna like flex my drawing skill. I've been practicing a lot. And then I go there and it's like, wow, there is one this goddamn, goddamn, they've been practicing. <laughs> They've been practicing more than me. <laughs> and then I humbled myself. And also because I've been drawing more digitally, now that I have to draw like traditionally on like a paper, I'm like, huh, what is this? What is pen? How to draw? <laughs> so after the intensive, which lasted for like a month, but felt like a year, was done. The real university life began. I had drawing class, which usually I just draw on an A4 size, right? But like, this is like, imagine A4, but like, double. And then eventually from the double the size, it goes to double of the double the size. So like, I had to draw in this really big picture. I usually never draw in before. Which, surprisingly, drawing in a pic big picture is actually easier than drawing in a small picture sometimes. Because in a big picture, you will have... You have the ability to add more details in easier than in small paper because if the paper is small and you have to make the detail and you have to like really zoom in with your eyes and just like getting close to that paper is like that little tito <laughs> you know like like it's actually harder to draw on smaller paper sometimes unless it's like the picture is not detail or anything and you're just like making sketches and i guess smaller paper is easier um for the drawing class we have to finish the assignment every week and each time we have to submit it was nightmare everybody was afraid they were like oh no we have not finished it yet we could have got the more in detail but not done oh no and then everyone in class just come in very depressed looking <laughs> it's just like we're not done with this professor i beg you and then like right before submission we're just gonna still continue to draw the pictures like no 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 not yet not yet don't take the paper away we're not done we're not done and then the professor just come in and be like nope 
time's up. Those who don't finish, you out of this class, you're failing for sure. Or are you? Maybe you're not failing. Ha ha ha. We'll see. And then we're like, really? Really? Just tell us. Are we failing or are we not? And he's like, who who who? Don't know. Maybe you're failing. Ha ha ha. Well, work hard next time, okay, everybody? And uh, don't forget, your seniors, a lot of them failed. So... Just letting you know, a lot of them fail. Anyway, drawing class was definitely the hardest one in the semester. Then we had other class going on too, like 2D foundation, which is, it guess, about drawing shapes and stuff. I don't really remember much about what happened in that class. And there was color theory where you had to use the poster color to color stuff, but I really am bad at poster colors. I don't know how to paint things and make it stay in line. <laughs> it will not stay in line. I cannot keep the paint straight. It just spill out everywhere. And then you get a negative point if the paint spill out of the border. And I'm just not the type of person to be very neat, you know? I'm, I made a mess of everything. My hair is a mess. My art is a mess. Everything is a mess. <laughs> It's funny because sometimes like my friend or my family gonna become like Bon Bon help me so I need to draw this straight line you're an artist you can draw it right and I was like oh no mom I can't do it I can't draw a straight line I can't do it it's like what you're talking about I thought you learned about it you know? anyway mm -hmm. then there was also photography class where we just take pictures of flowers yay and a moving car you need the background to be blurred, but the car itself not blurred, and just I'm just like trying to take this picture. Like, just, <laughs> it is. Then we get those kind of class that I don't care much about, like ethnic, business, PE. I mean, in the PE, I had to play badminton, which is I guess it was fun, but my arm hurt from drawing, and now my arm hurt from swinging, and now I'm just dead all. <laughs> The funny thing here is that a lot of work in this class, we have to carry around a really big canvas. So every morning, me and my friend who lives in the same dorm take the same van to the university. And we're just carrying this big board bag thing, taking most of the space in the van. And then run all the way to the building, and then we have to ride up the elevator, taking up even more space. So the schedule is kind of like this. Around 6.30, we enter the van, eat like a sandwich from the convenience store draw non-stop in the building to finish the work and then we had to grab lunch from the convenience store again around 12 then we go back to drawing the whole time until 7 30 then the guard kick us out and then me and my friend just head back to the dorm sometimes she would visit my room and then we continue drawing until 2 30 and we take a bit of break like playing games sometimes and then we just sleep and that's just repeat the whole again and again yeah First year was definitely the most busiest. Legit, I didn't take much break. Probably the hardest I tried to work in my life. Also, this was back in 2019, so um, Genshin was an app. <laughs> okay, I had no distraction. I was fully focused. There was no game to distract me. <laughs> Also, it was tiring. It was kind of fun because I get to hang out with my best friend most of the time. I'm like elementary to high school where the work we have to do and then feel really important. University have me doing things I actually want to do in my life, get better at drawing. Problem was only that I didn't felt like I was improving fast enough and each project deadline was tough. So like we had to rush a lot and each time I didn't really get to learn what to do the thing. So it's kind of like, and get it over with and then you move on to something else. I'm like, wait, I still didn't learn about the previous thing with it. Yeah, 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 forget about that one. You need to move on to the next one. We gotta work on the next thing now. It's like, okay, okay. Wait, how do you do this? Well, you need to understand the previous one. Wait, but I don't understand the previous one. It doesn't matter. Well, you gotta understand it now. I'm like, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. During the finals, me and my best friend decided we would be a mathesis. So instead of A1, we draw on A0. The work had to be finished in one to two months. And we have to color this big canvas all in color pencil. Um, the night we... <laughs> The night, a week before the deadline, me and my crew just opening the final countdown and then we just plan to stay over. I actually brought a kettle 
fully ready for my cup ramen to stay over at the university for the night. <laughs> and then the guard just kick down the door open and tell us, get out! Now, somehow I was just think, wow, we have so much work to do. But then the opposite building from ours is actually an architecture building. They were dying. So, <laughs> it's like, well, it could have been worse. <laughs> Now, we move on to the next semester. Still in the first year though, we had painting, which is pretty much the same as drawing. But instead of EE pencil and color pencil, now there is acrylic and watercolor. I cannot do watercolor, like, oh my god. Watercolor is really hard. You need a lot of patience, you need a lot of... <sighs> How do you say? Um, soft hands. My hand... Just wanna, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you get me? Like, I, like I would rather just like put my hand, dip it in the, dip it in the color, and just paint all over it. That's like I rather do that. They're just like carefully draw on this paper and just like okay, put the color down carefully over here. Woo! Let the color flow. If you want this to look good, you need to make go along with the flow of the water. Watch as the color flow down. <laughs> and then check the color. Check the canvas. Make it boom, boom, boom. And then you pat, pat, pat the water. Pew, pew, pew. And this is actually how my professor explained how to draw, by the way. I'm not over exaggerating things. That's why acrylic was a lot. Um, easier for me. So I also had to learn to use this thing where you just dip the thing in and then you just nip and then nip, nip, boop, 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 just put in the color. <laughs> the only problem I had with acrylic is that every time I squeeze out the color from my tube, I just like, my money. <laughs> it costs so much. And then my professor is just like, why? Why are you why are you being so stingy? Just pull the color out and then he just squeezed the acrylic like my money. And then he's just like, okay, now that you squeeze that many and just scoop and then blah. And it's like oh. <laughs> that works. Wait, it actually looked good. He's good at this. <laughs> and it's like now you do it. It's like what? <laughs> anyway. Well, acrylic, you can just like, if this color don't work, then you can just paint over it. Unlike watercolor where if this, if you paint the thing wrong, the whole thing is just now ruined, okay? <laughs> you cannot just paint it over, it just, you just, it's, 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 it's doom. <laughs> then there's another class at the same time, like CG foundation. I forgot what we did. Except this one project is a tiny shop model I make with my best friend. Pretty proud of it, actually. We had to design it and put things together. I almost burned my hand with hot glue. Um, yeah. Then there was CG Design Studio 1, where I think I combined a lot of animals together. I forgot what the other assignment was. Oh, and another class was motion picture that we had to form a group to take video and make a music video together. I am not showing that here, it's kind of cringe. And then, COVID striked! Right after midterm, we all had to go home and work there. My ice cream that we took picture of, I have to finish it at home now. And thus, from the year that I worked the hardest, we went to the year that I worked the least. <laughs> I just wake up, I draw a little, didn't really care much, eat, play, game, sleep. <laughs> also, another problem is this year is that Genshin released. So, it was the perfect time for me to procrastinate. <laughs> I s okay, okay. I said this, but there was a lot of personal project I did too, like this fanfic comic. <laughs> <laughs> and this animation that wouldn't have happened if I did not play the game, okay? I wasn't totally unproductive. It's just the unproductive part was when I finished the work and then I'm like, what now? And then when the second year come, the first semester come, it was still COVID. I will just show you my work that I've done 
Also, while I was really busy on the first year, drawing all day, and just going there, taking the way, talking to my friends, I don't know how I did this, but I was also updating my webtoon like every month. How did I do that? Like, I can't imagine working that hard now. Like, what happened? Bring back the productive pun. What? Where did she go? Who was this? Who am I? Anyway, um. This webtoon that I worked on, I didn't, I don't earn anything from this. I'm just stubborn. I started this back in high school in 2018 when I was 17 years old. I don't recommend reading this because this is like my first comic. The story wasn't planned. I go completely with the flow. <laughs> but even though it's like I know the story is not that good, if I make like a new comic, it's probably better. But then I told myself way back that no matter what happened, don't you dare act. This, you need to make it until the end so five years later i'm still working on it second semester year two my university was like well you know the virus is probably gone right so they let us go back to the campus that wasn't really a good idea we went back to the university for like a month and then corona striked again and then we had to go back to home and this time the strike was strict so at that point people just canceled their dormitory a lot of my classmates just go back to their homeland <laughs> and i just back home back home the course had us learning 3d solver now so we move on from traditional in the first year into autodesk maya and um digital drawing and stuff i don't feel like i'm that good at 3d modeling but at least i know how to now at least i can make like shares <laughs> i didn't even know how to like render stuff <laughs> oh yeah i did this animation back in year second second semester i managed to finish it all within a month while doing other projects as well i did this in photoshop oh, actually i have video talking about how i did it as well so i don't need to t tell you about it in this video year third first semester still at home had to learn after effect rigging 3d animation CG Design 4, Intro to Rigging in Maya, and Advanced 3D Modeling. I learned that out of all the software I have ever tried in my life, I hate ZBrush the most. It's so wonky and I keep crashing and I don't know when look at this monkey I made. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The, the mammal, the, the, the elephant. <laughs> yeah, ZBrush, ZBrush not fun. I, I thought I would have more fun with ZBrush, but I didn't. It was a lot harder than I thought. Also because I learned it online, it's hard to pay attention. <laughs> so sometimes the professor just like, oh, you click this button, you click this button. And like, I was like, just spacing out, just waking up and be like, oh, what button? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? How do you use this program, huh? And oh, oh yeah, but 3D animation wasn't bad. I kind of know how to do it, but it wasn't fun. I would rather draw 2D animation than 3D animation because I feel like trying to navigate through this 3D space and moving characters is kind of wonky. Kind of wonky. Year third, semester two. Here is where on-campus learning became optional. A lot of my classmates from aboard still stay aboard learning online while people who was on campus was me, my best friend, and one of my other classmates. Because um, there was only three people <laughs> who's in class in the campus and probably the entire university. We got along quite well. Yeah, the entire university, just like when we go back there, there was like no one but our major and the guards when i go back to the dorm it was really awkward because there was not really much people in the dorm so the only person taking the van to school was me <laughs> when i go down in the morning i had to tell the counters like uh it, it's the it's the van here today 
and then they just call the van guys and like yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah the person's here that there's the student come come quick and the van driver just look like he just wake up and then he just start coming to the counter be like oh, okay i'm here and then he just go grab the van and then this big van just open up and I'm, and it's just me and then i just walk in the van all alone and it was just awkward silence in the van me and just this driver <laughs> I was suffering from awkwardness every single morning <laughs> Every single morning It was weird because it's like this whole university There's like only three students <laughs> My best friend moved to another dorm But that dorm didn't have a van to the university So some morning she just walked to my dorm and take the van with me However, you're not supposed to do that. A kid from a different dorm cannot take the van that belongs to another dorm. But then since she's like, well, I used to be, I used to pay money to stay in this dorm before. So you know what? A little bit should be fine, right? <laughs> so one day she ended up getting caught. They were like, <clears throat> can I see if you have your dorm card, please? That my friend like, Nope. And then she walk out, take the taxi, and I was left sitting on the chair with <laughs> the person just looking at me and be like, do you have the card? And it's like, yes, and I pull up my card. And then I walk up the way and she just look at me and like, mm. And the awkwardness just like double for me. And I'm just like, <laughs> And then I asked my friend later on, like, bro, how are you? Were you like dying of cringe or like embarrassment at all? And she's like, nah, not really. It's kind of what it is, cause I got caught. And I was like, really? You don't, you don't feel embarrassed or anything? No awkwardness? And it's like, not really. I'm like, Why should I? It's like, oh. <laughs> I wish I have your mental fortitude. In the university. Um, the taxi that used to be everywhere is just gone. If you want a taxi, you need to call the guards and be like, um, can you let the taxi in here? I kind of want to get out of here. <laughs> and there was some day where even the guards just kind of sleeping. So we just look all over. We can't find the guards. And me and my friend just look at each other and we're like, do we have to walk out? The road kind of long, the university owner wanted it to be really fancy so he made the entrance really far away from the university itself. I was like, guess we walking home. And I'm like, sure. And then I just like, uh, uh. <laughs> I am not an elliptic person. I think it's easy to tell that I'm not. Um, I don't really go outside. I stay home all day. I'm pretty much a need at this point. <clears throat> a lot of shop in the university also shut down. There is no more Dairy Queen, my best friend's favorite ice cream store. Even one of the 7-Eleven closed down. Also, another funny thing is that even though it's optional for the student to come or not come, our professor had to come pretty much every day. And <laughs> it's kind of like a routine in a sense that each month, one of the art professor will catch a COVID. And after they cure from the COVID, the next month, another one have another one caught a COVID. So it's like, as each month passes by, it's like, oh, who's gonna catch it? And like, sometimes the same person caught COVID twice. It was like, oh, you caught it twice. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, because I just don't touch grass, I never got COVID. Pause, huh? so literally... <coughs> I'm not even fake cough coughing. Right after I recorded that, I went outside once and I caught COVID. I dodged it for three years. And after I said, oh wow, I never caught COVID before. I caught COVID. <laughs> what is this timing, huh? So we learned cinematic lighting and rendering, which is kind of like modeling a room here. Like this one, uh, um, they asked me to find a reference on the internet. So I found a picture by this artist, really good looking. And then I just make a model of the room. The problem is I just have my laptop. I do not have a computer, right? So my laptop just died. My friend was like, 
fun, come play game with us And I'm like, no, I don't have the technology to I can't on university's computer They disabled the download It's like, okay then And then they forgot about me Then we got the CG Design 5 class It was a group work for the final And we had to make an animatic about class We ended up talking about chocolate and child labor For movement analysis and lip sync class It was basically another 2D animation so this semester is probably the most relaxed and chill one. I actually had time to play and, and make more friends. Socializing was something that I have not done much in all of my life. So it was nice. Funny how when there's like no one in the university, that's the time I actually socialized the most. Well, when I say socialize, I meant like making two more friends. It's a lot for me, okay? <clears throat> Year four, semester one. The last year, the fourth year, was the thesis. People started to come back from COVID and the university slowly filled up with more people. It was still optional, so the classmate was, who was in another country slowly packed their backpack. There's still not that many people, but at least a bit more taxi. Thesis was not fun. I don't know if I want to talk about this in this video or another one. Let's just say that the first semester, basically I made no progress. And the second semester, also not much progress. And then it was the last three months <laughs> that I just rushed to everything and had to do the thing. It's like, it's not even me not trying to make any progress. It's just like keep going around and around and I keep changing my storyboards and like eventually I just don't know what to do. I even stopped updating my webtoon because I wanted to focus on the thesis, but I think that was a bad idea. I think because I was trying to focus on only the thesis, that's why I was so caught in like, I need to make this really good. Really, really good. And I just like confused myself. It's like, wait, it's not good enough. Is it good? Huh? Eventually, it ended up very um, rushed. <laughs> just like, so even now, I'm, I don't know if I really want to post my thesis, but I guess I will because it took me a whole year to do it. I don't want to show it to anybody, but if I don't post it, then I don't have anything to post. <laughs> Negative one year. Ah, uh, You know what? I'll talk about thesis in a different video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't want the video to be this long. This isn't even the whole thing. I will have to make another video more about my pieces. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'm not sure if anyone watched the whole thing, but I have fun recollecting this. <laughs> At least now I have a video that sum up all of my university time so that maybe one day in the far future, I'll be old and like, oh, what happened back on those four years? I don't remember anything that happened. Oh yeah, I was dying. <laughs> That's why it's like a memory I suppress in the back of my head. That's why I don't remember anything from it. <laughs> I'm not sure if my dreams of making comic at home would be better if it comes true or better if it fails. Because if it fails, that means I'm forced to get out of my house to touch grass and socialize. More, more videos in the future, hopefully. <laughs> See ya, my wife's dying.